Christ from the dead dwells in you and dwells in me. The same Holy Spirit that raised Christ from the dead, He dwells in you and dwells in me. He will quicken my mortal body by His Spirit that dwells in me. Raise Christ from the dead, He dwells in you, and He dwells in me. The same Holy Spirit that raised Christ from the dead, He dwells in you, and dwells in me. He will quicken my mortal body by His Spirit that dwells in me. He will quicken my mortal body by His Spirit that dwells in He will quicken your mortal body. Amen. The same Holy Spirit that raised Christ from the dead, He dwells in you and He dwells in me. The same Holy Spirit that raised Christ from the dead, He dwells in you, and He dwells in me. He will quicken your mortal body by His Spirit that dwells in you, and He will quicken your mortal body oh, by His Spirit that dwells in you. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. Welcome fellow believers. You are all welcome in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm thrilled again to bring it to you the good news of salvation. Christ and Him crucified. But we are now in the Easter week. Amen. We are celebrating the greatest event that has ever happened to humanity. Which is Easter. The resurrection. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. So the big fact is Easter is a big fact, a big factor to the human race. Amen. Because Jesus Christ was saying that I like some of his words. And let me go to some of these. Uh, I like this song that he will quicken the same spirit that raised Christ on the dead, dwells in us. Amen. Thank God we are born again, Christians. Amen. So Jesus Christ now. So if without Easter, I just want to say something that without Easter. You know, without the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, we, it is just as if we are we are like Buddhists. We are like different religion in the world, like Islam, Buddhists, uh, or you can say uh, philosophy. Uh, uh, people that like uh, scientists will be the same like them, you know, or New Age or something like that, you know, because all the other religion they don't believe in the resurrection of Jesus Christ, and Satan does not want them to believe because Jesus Christ died was buried for our sin and he was raised again for our justification but the devil does not want people like muhammad buddhist and all these other religion of the world the other dead religion in the world to believe that that fact that it is a big fact and they don't want uh, satan does not want these people to believe in that because if they believe in that that is why they can't be saved so i will be going to a scripture in the book of first corinthians 15 that he will be talking about that because he's saying that if in case jesus christ did not die if you believe that jesus did not die then we are still in our sin amen and if he did not raise again from the dead we are still in our sin because jesus christ came to die for sin and he died once for sin and he's living now unto god for our justification the bible says he was raised again from the dead for our justification muhammad did not come back from the dead Amen. All the other religions, they did not come back from the dead. Muhammad did not believe the gospel, so he did not come back from the dead. But we believe in the resurrection. Amen. We believe that is the big fact that Jesus Christ died for us. Amen. And he was raised again for our justification. Big facts. I'm talking today about big facts about the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is amazing. That is the greatest, the greatest event 
call, uh, uh, we can say that Jesus Christ raised from the dead is the greatest event in Christianity. Because we believe that, we believe that Jesus died and God the Father was able to raise him again from the dead. Because the whole time from the garden of Genesis uh, uh, 3, Satan kept humanity, the whole humanity, the fear of death, the bondage of death, of the fear of death. But when Jesus Christ was raised from the dead and defeated Satan and showed that man can raise again from the dead, because the key of death, hell, and the grave is now in the hand of the Lord Jesus Christ. I like that scripture. He said that I, you know, it's in the book of um, Revelation. I like some words that, that Jesus Christ always pronounced, you know. He, I like that one that he said that I, I he said that um, let's go to Revelation. I'll be quoting some nice words that you will hear today. It's big facts, big fact about Jesus Christ's revelation, uh, resurrection from the dead. Here in the book of Revelation 1, verse 18, he said, I am he that liveth. I was dead. He was saying that I was dead, but behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the key of hell and death. Jesus Christ is the one that has the key of hell and death. Amen. He destroyed him that have the power of death. He tests death for all man. And he now rose again from the dead to show that, to justify our faith. Amen? Because without Jesus Christ raising from the dead, our faith cannot be justified. Amen? Because he raised now, because if he was dead like Muhammad, dead like all the other religions, Islam, other, all the prophets of the other religion, and did not raise from the dead, he cannot justify our death. Because now, if you ask the Muslim people and say that, are you sure you will go to heaven? Are you going to raise? They said they don't know. Because why? Because uh, uh, Muhammad did not come back from the dead. Muhammad was not raised on death. Only Jesus Christ was raised on the dead. And that is the biggest problem with Islam. If you ask Islam people, they will tell you that Jesus Christ did not even die. That is what they will tell you. Because why? They want to still remain their sin. Because Satan wants to fool them. Because Jesus died for sin. Because when you believe that Jesus died for sin, that is where you come. And then when you confess with your mouth, you believe that he was raised again from the dead. You declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. That is when you can be saved. So because if you don't believe, because they say that the, the father just took him. They say that he did not. Uh, they believe that he was born of the Virgin Mary, the most high. But they don't believe that he died. And they do not believe that he was raised from the dead. So they don't believe all those things. That's why they are still in their sin. Until when you believe that the Bible says in the book of Romans 10, that is when you can be justified and then you can be saved. So the big fact is that Jesus died for our sin. He was raised again for you. The big fact that he showed himself alive. The Bible says that in the book of uh, 1 Corinthians 15, if we will read from there from 1 to 8. And also he showed himself to his disciples when he raised from the dead. Everybody saw him. They saw that he was crucified between two thieves. The nail on his hand, even uh, Thomas saw the nails on his hand, the wound on his uh, side that he he, he was he he was wounded on the side, uh, which blood and water came from, and then his body was removed from the from the uh, from the from the tree and put in the grave. And then in three days and three nights, Jesus Christ said that as um, Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the well, so he himself will be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. And then after that, he will raise again from the dead. He was telling his disciples that over and over again, but they didn't did not understand that. You know, until when he was raised from the dead, the, the, the women that went now that morning to go and take spices to go and uh, embalm him. And then they saw that they were thinking who is going to open for them this, uh, the, that tomb. Then the tomb was open. But I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about that. How I will speak about that point on Easter Sunday. But now I'm talking about this big fact. Amen. That he loved us. He reconciled us with his blood. He redeemed us. He forgave us. Amen. So we are blessed that we believe all these big facts in the name of Jesus Christ. That he has made a new, made us a new creation. Amen. In Jesus' name. And we have a right standing with Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Glory be to God. So Jesus Christ was raised again for our justification. Amen. That is what the Bible says. That Jesus was raised again for our justification. He died. He came. He, he came to die. 
and he 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 was rose again from the dead the father did not leave him from the grave in the grave the dead dead could not hold him in the grave amen the holy spirit is the one who who raised him from there he raised the body too because we are the body of christ amen in jesus christ mighty name i like one scripture that jesus christ gave me two two or three times in my in my vision when i saw him when i was very sick as a missionary in finland so the lord jesus christ appeared to me uh, two different times in 2018 and 2000 and 2018 18 january february and then also in 2017 he told me he said i am the resurrection and the life when he told me i thought because it, i was so sick you know so so sick it was something like this coronavirus cold flow i was vomiting blood i was very very sick all my chest was affected it was horrible i even think that this coronavirus was already existing that time because i thought that i would not make it but the lord jesus when he came and appeared to me and said i am the resurrection of the, um, the life i am the resurrection and the life when he told me that word it is written in the book of uh, I think john uh, 11 verse 25 i woke up i started to move from that bed a little bit if you can ask my daughter I I, my church family in Finland, it was a horrible situation. I woke up from that bed and I was well again. So Jesus Christ, he said, he is, he said, I am the resurrection and the life. I like all that is what he said, I am, I am he that was dead and i'm alive forevermore amen he said as i live you shall live also amen jesus christ is alive now forevermore amen and death has no dominion and no power over him he died to sin once and he is now alive unto god forever amen and anyone that is dead is free from sin we died with him amen you remember in the book of galatians uh, 2 20 and romans 6 6 we were the head died the body also died with him when the head was raised from the dead we were also raised from the dead if you see that symbol of death I mean, symbol of baptism is the symbol of death with Jesus Christ and resurrection in union with the Lord Jesus Christ. We died to sin, to our sin, amen. We were raised with him to a new life, amen. So we have a new life now, the new creation. Like the Bible says, if anyone be in Christ, in Christ, is a new creation. All things have passed away and everything has become new. So he says here that, his resurrection was for our justification so you don't have to forget that amen so we are believers we are the believers of the new life the we believe in the power of that raised jesus christ from the dead the holy spirit and that holy spirit is living now in us the bible says don't you know that your body is the temple of the holy ghost don't you know that you are bought with a price yes christ is in us he's the hope of glory jesus christ came to make his life now in us so that power that raised christ from the dead dwells in you and it dwells in me amen so jesus christ is the firstborn of the dead the bible says as he live we shall live also amen in jesus name and the lord jesus christ said i am he that was dead and i'm alive now forevermore and i like this scripture the lord jesus christ says except a grain of seed fall down to the ground and die it abides alone but if he dies he and he raised from the dead or he he, he now grow he bring much fruit jesus christ came and died to bring many souls to glory he tastes that for all man and he was raised from the dead and he brought all of us now to glory he now call us his brothers amen we are brethren with the lord jesus christ join here with him amen in jesus christ so this power that is from above the resurrection power is what that raised jesus christ from the dead let me go to this scripture in the book of philippians i like that scripture too philippians uh to philippians 3 let's go to 9 he said that uh, okay, verse 8, he said that I count all things lost for the excellency of the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ, my Lord, of whom I suffer loss of all things, and I do count it all done for 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 me to win christ that i may be found in him not having my own righteousness which is by the law but the by that which is true faith in christ the righteousness which is by god by faith that i may know him and the power of his resurrection amen in the name of jesus christ and also the fellowship of his suffering being made confirmable unto his death if by any means that i might attain on to the resurrection of the dead amen so we want to know him we want to know about the rex the 
power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering because now we are the same jesus is the head we are his body amen and now because the first man adam was made a living soul and that first man fall he became short of god's glory because of sin in the garden and anyone that is born on the face of the earth is under the head of the first adam and when you are a born again christian you are under the head of the second adam the man will come from heaven amen so let's go to the scriptures now in the book of first corinthians 15. the first corinthians 15 the bible was talking because they were talking here and uh, say and uh, now if christ uh being preached that he rose from the dead how say some of you that that there is no resurrection of the dead that's what the muslim believe, believe that there's no resurrection of the dead some people or other religion believe that there's no resurrection of the dead they think that human beings are animals who will just die and just perish no our body this body we are not made only of body i said this many times human beings are created in god's image god's image is spirit god is spirit those who worship him worship him in spirit and in truth and then human beings are made in three different parts the body the spirit and the soul a man is not a body a man is a spirit he lives in the body and he has a soul you have a soul your soul is your intellect your your emotion your 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 feeling your touch everything you use here on this physical realm that is what you use here on the physical realm is your soul and, and your body that is what you use here but what you your, you have a spirit like god you are a spirit bear we are not animals so animals have only soul but we are created like we spirit beings so when you die it is just this body which will die the bible says you will be absent from your body you will be present from the lord you will just slip out of this body like a glove like a like a hand shoe and then your spirit you, you will see you will be so real it is be so real amen in the name of the lord jesus christ and then you will be resurrected either to internal damnation which is to hell or to internal life which is to heaven amen but if you have accepted jesus christ as your lord and savior you will be resurrected to a new life we have already resurrected to a new life we have new life because that baptism is a symbol of death with the lord jesus christ and resurrection so but when you die this body will just go and you are going to heaven straight amen in the name of the lord jesus christ so the bible was saying here in verse 15 first corinthians 15 i was talking here 15 15 he said that yes if we are if we have found false witness of god because we have testified of god that that god raised jesus from the dead and whom he raised him not if we we are saying that and if so be that that the dead is not raised again for if the dead is not raised then is christ not raised because the dead is raised again because jesus christ was raised from the dead amen and he said and if christ is not raised then your faith is in vain and you are also still yet in your sin i'm not in my sin because i believe that jesus died for my sin i'm not in my sin because i believe that jesus christ was raised again for my for my justification amen he has justified me he's sitting now the bible says at the right hand of god the father making intercession for us the bible talk about him in the book of Ephesians said when he died we died with him the head died with him and when he was raised we were raised with him we are seated now with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus if you read the book of Colossians 3 it says that since you are raised now with Christ why are you living as if you are living in the world say set your affection on things above because that is where we are seated amen because a contradiction for a, a the spirit man the new creation man who is raised on the dead to be looking on things here on the earth which you are raised on the dead you are seated with Christ now in the heavenly places far above all principality and power might and dominion and every name that's to be named not only in this world but also in that which is to come so i will go now to first corinthians 15 verse 20 it said now is christ risen from the dead and he has become now the first fruit from anyone that sleep amen anyone that died that's what it means for since by one man death came into the world by one man also come the resurrection from the dead because it's adam that brought death because the bible said that if he will eat of that food they will die and they die because of adam's sin and if they caused the whole human race to die so now the bible said because of the one man death came into the world and because again of one man obedience the second adam jesus christ now the resurrection of life now will come to everyone who believe amen in jesus said i will be raised from the dead because i believe in the gospel i believe 
believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. For since by one man death come unto the world, also by one man come the resurrection. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ all shall be made alive. In Jesus Christ, all those who are in Jesus Christ will be made alive. Amen. Every man in his own order. Christ is the first, first fruit. After afterward the, that uh, Christ at his coming. Then the end shall come. Then he talk here again a little bit in the in verse 33 he said be not deceived even evil communication corrupt good manners awake for to righteousness and sin not for some of you do not have the knowledge of god so i speak to your shame he was talking here about he says uh so when you plant a seed for example he was explaining all the like a scenario so if you plant a seed the seed will not will not germinate except the seed die first the seed have to die because jesus christ is a seed they call it the seed of abraham the righteous seed. he died first and then he germinate amen because the whole bible is talking about jesus christ all is about salvation if the old covenant it was all types of shadow now jesus christ has come it's all talking about salvation and redemption the whole bible so he says that so the seed have to die and then it will be quickened again and then when it's quickened then god give it a body because god give it a different body because if you plant for example a corn it is just a grain but when it grows now it will have now blood and all kind of stuff and then before it will produce this other big corn so that's what he was explaining there is god that gives the type of body so he starts to explain about how they're in their heavenly bodies and also they are also uh, earthly bodies and then he explained also that there are different kind of glory then and he talked here down here in verse 42 he says so also is the resurrection of the dead it is sown in corruption and it is raised in an uh, incorruption because you are when somebody died they are you see they are sown they die they bury them in the in weakness they say it is it is sown in dishonor that it is raised again in glory it is sown in weakness and it is raised in power so when the person wake up from the dead the house now is raised from the there will be power because it's the holy spirit that does that job amen he continued to say that there is a natural body and there is a spiritual body because this body that we have it will die but we will have a spiritual body because this is the earthly body this one will go back to the doors but you will have a new body which is like jesus christ body a glorious body that light shine through amen the glorious body is they call it the spiritual body as it is written that the first man was made a living the first man was made a living soul and the last adam was made a quickening spirit jesus christ was made a quickening spirit which means a life-giving spirit that's why jesus christ said i am the resurrection and the life he's the one that gives us life how by that was the first which was spiritual but that which was natural afterward that which was spiritual the first man was earthly the first man was from the earth he was earthly and the second man is from the lord for heaven he is heavenly so we took now the body of adam we are now like earthly and then jesus christ will come from heaven we will receive also his spiritual body then when we we raise from the dead we'll have also that glorious body like jesus christ also that shining glorious body like the lord jesus christ that's what the bible is speaking here amen in the name of the lord jesus christ then he talk about the mystery and he uh, here in verse uh, 51 he said behold i show you a mystery we shall all not sleep but we shall all be changed in a moment and in the twinkle of an eye in the last trump when the trumpet shall be sound the dead shall be raised again incorruptible and we shall be changed that's when jesus christ come if jesus christ come all of us will just be changed from this body to a glorious body everyone will just sleep out of this body and then we will receive a glorious body in the last day of the trumpet that's why the bible says amen in jesus name for this incorruptible can we must put on this corruptible will put on incorruptible this body is corruptible is corrupted here because it's anybody it will put on incorruptible body that does not die forever that is incorruptible jesus christ is living in this body today amen in jesus name. and this mortal this is mortal body will put on immortality amen immortality is a body that does not die it lives forever so he said when this corruptible will put on incorruptible and this mortal will put in mortality then it will be brought to pass the same which was written in the book of Isaiah that death is swallowed up in victory amen in the name of Jesus say, oh dead where is your sting oh grave where is your victory the sting of death is sin and uh, the the sting of the uh, they say that the strength of sin is the law 
But thanks be unto God who has given us now victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thanks be unto God who has given us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. So that is uh, Jesus Christ died. When he died, we died. When he uh, was raised from the dead, we were raised from the dead. The head and the body are the same. Amen. Remember that. Then, and also the Bible says we should reckon ourselves dead in did unto sin and we are living now unto righteousness amen that's why the bible says thanks be unto god who give us victory through our lord jesus christ because we are not under the law again we are under god's grace we are not under sin again amen we die to sin amen in baptism that was the day we died to sin, and we are raised now to a new life with the lord jesus christ of nazareth so the spirit that raised jesus christ from the dead is now living and in our heart living in us amen in jesus name so the biggest and the greatest greatest event celebrated in the human race is uh, is easter uh, the the heartbeat of the gospel you can say is resurrection amen the heartbeat of the gospel is resurrection easter is a big fact in the name of jesus christ of nazareth so he redeemed us he forgave us he now is our partner amen in jesus and we are joined here with him in jesus and the big fact is that we are blessed we believe it will be he believe in us we believe in him amen in the name of jesus christ and the big fact is that he has made us a new creation and we have have a right standing with him amen in the name of the lord jesus christ god bless you fellow believers i am your host today sister evangelist Atel. i will see you in the next audio in the next video bless god bless all my subscribers i cover every one of you with the blood of jesus christ and also uh, be strong in the lord put on the whole armor of god in the name of the lord jesus christ amen and uh, now is the time for celebration amen the biggest celebration on easter the resurrection because we have hope because of that we have that hope because of that because the bible said who can lay anything to the church of god it is god that justifies we see that condemn is christ that died who is rather risen again from the dead with either at the right hand of god the father making intercession for us if jesus did not, did not raise from the dead there will be nobody to make intercession for us but the high priest our high priest is on god's right hand our advocate our perpetration our atonement sacrifice the lamb of god is at the right hand making in intercession for us always in the name of jesus christ shalom god bless you i cover every one of you with the blood of the lord jesus christ in jesus christ mighty name amen thank you god bless you in jesus name happy i will talk about happy easter uh tomorrow amen in jesus name god bless you